really love wrapping my pieces and garments really nice oh excuse me normally i wrap it a little more different than what this is wrapped i'm out of the kind of twine that i normally use i have all of this stuff in here like tags and labels um but this twine you know what no these are just my tags so they're short twines but Honestly, I normally have the long ones and I wrap it around really pretty and I wrap it around this cute paper wrap, but I'm out of that. So I use a different kind of paper wrap and then I just kind of use this bubble wrap just to seal it and make it look more neat. But when I send off packages, it's always neat. It's always clean. I always have, um, I always have cute bags at hand. But aside from that, this is it. Every time I'm trying to show something. <laughs> aside from that, I have like a whole bunch of my little business cards. Lord knows what that is. Just a little piece of string or something. But I have my little big, big, big business cards. I have my huge big business cards. And I also have small business cards. But this is just for my grandmother. So... Me. This is just for my grandmother, so she got my contact. <laughs> but still, you know, when I say professional galore, it's not time to re up just yet. But this is some of my small business cards in here, my tags, child. But yeah, and I got a whole bunch of bags thank you bags, paper bags, pink bags for the girlies, yes. You're the blood in my veins, you're the air I breathe on a hot summer day. You're like a shirt with no sleeves. More than a woman to me. Who, when they, before they leave out the house, they try to straighten up my ass? That's what makes me even more late. But today, I'm actually running on time. I come home, I like to just take my clothes right off and chill, like really chill the fuck out. So what I'm about to do, got my pocketbook ready. But I'm about to put these dishes up really quickly, primarily because I hate how, I hate how that looks, you know? So, I only got two dishes in here, so don't judge. But I'm um, definitely about to put these dishes up really quick because the kitchen is fairly clean. Oh, and y'all have to follow this girl. I'm going to leave her IG when I find it because, you know, I, I, I put shit in after I edit. But, oh, my God, she cleans like freaking crazy and watching her inspires me to get up and just clean at random clean like i got company about to come over yeah so she did this thing where after she cleaned out her sink she pretty much washes the whole sink which i've done plenty of times but she had some essential oils and i got so many of these things i'm like what the frick am i going to do with them but here's the thing after she cleans out the sink and she moves everything out of the sink, takes a little bit of oil, bop, 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 in the sink, wipe around the bottom and all the sides of the sink. Um, honey, I started doing the same shit. It smells fabulous. It smells so good after you clean up. It's ridiculous. So I have sweet orange. I also have lavender, you know, rosemary whatever and i just have a few sitting on the side of the counter honey when i say it's a vibe and i also have under the cabinets i pretty much started putting um everything under the cabinet after i put the dishes away that way it's just clear it's clear and the only thing that's up here is my cute little vase may i'll leave this rack up here but it's empty 
you don't know what type of peace of mind it is just to have a clean kitchen space, period. <clears throat> So pretty much we're getting ready to go to my grandmother's house. It's her birthday, like I said, and we're having a big taco type of night, like tacos, nachos, margaritas. She loves nachos. Like, I don't know what it is with her and corn chips and cheese and beef, but she loves it. So we're going to pick up my aunt and pretty much get her so we can go over there and just hang out just hang out at first i was like let's go out let's do something but of course my finances always falls the day after the bullshit. <laughs> so i said you know what i'm with the house party gang like i don't even care so I never have enough space for my glasses, so sometimes I leave two out just for me to grab when I have like a glass of wine or something. So. Yeah, I started really falling in love with just straightening up the kitchen space. I really love doing it. Tomorrow may be like a grocery shopping type of day. Yeah, so we'll definitely be plugged in for that. Tomorrow we'll be able to do that. And yeah. I honestly had this crazy conversation I had a conversation with a young lady. Mm, she's not really that young, but she's actually a lot older than me. But So sometimes you can run into people and you say to yourself, you know, God, why have you put me in this situation to be talking to this person? Like, y'all may not have a lot in common, <laughs> but um, I was talking to this lady and I don't know why I started opening up to her about like finances and little situations. But I was like, oh yeah, like right now is a tough time or whatever the case was. So she was like, oh, well, you know, that just goes to show you, you know, whether you can handle this, that, and the third or not. And I was like thinking to myself at first, I was like, am I offended or am I not offended? Like after she said that, but I realized I'm not offended because Honey, I done been through the test of times. I definitely am ready, you know, and prepared. And I have gotten my feet wet with being on my own. I'm fine. Trust me. I know that I'm going through um, getting over a hurdle and that it's time for, you know, the next step in the game. But honey, trust me. I know what I'm doing out here in these streets. <clears throat> this bra is like, child, sometimes I can have a good one and sometimes I just don't. I don't even understand. So this is the shirt that you see. That line there, I have it tucked in. I'm gonna find me a sweater to put on anyway. But anyway, in saying that, it's the reason why I said all that bullshit, I pretty much love cleaning and doing little stuff and sprucing the place up and decorating and adding little, you know, fun little decor pieces and freshening the water you know watering my plants i love and enjoy paying bills especially when i have it i love to be on time <clears throat> and i know when i need to step my pussy game up <laughs> as far as right now i'm looking for another job with more hours you know you know i know when to step my pussy game up so what she said, what she said, it just made me want to apply pressure even more. So I didn't take it to heart. <clears throat> Some people don't know what to say half of the time. They don't know what people take away from conversations. So definitely 
I know what I know. You know. <clears throat> but yeah, I love doing little shit. Like I had these flowers forever and they're they're real and they're like really flourishing. But yeah. Of course I'm ready, you know, to be a big girl out here in these streets. It is what it is. But let me hurry up. I'm so hungry. I have not ate I have not ate anything all day. I'm lying. I had a piece of cornbread that I made last night. But I ain't gonna hold you. That was about it. I ain't even drink no water. I said to myself, I need to start dieting again because I feel like I'm gaining weight back. <clears throat> And although I'm a big girl, some people don't notice it. I do. So, I want to continue on the best journey there is. And really be out here doing what I need to do. So, I don't know what I'm putting on my feet. It is cold outside. And it's about to rain. So that says anything but let me hurry up i'll pick y'all back up late tour child these curves be popping <laughs> no matter the weight the curves still be popping but let me pick y'all up later okay mm. <laughs> Go to their family house, mother only, grandma only, your father, I don't know. Basically, when they say, you know, take what you need, <laughs> you take what you need. So, um, let me show you what I got. <laughs> Wait, let me wash my hands. I pretty much have this thing where if I come in the house and I don't know. I touch stuff, I wash my hands, and I walk in my food. Y'all gonna crack up. So y'all know, I had to take my spanks off. Ugh. It was giving me pain. So, <laughs> grandma was like, I gotta take some stuff because I ain't gonna eat all that. You know how they do. I ain't gonna eat all that, blah, 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 blah. 
Bye bye bye. Say less. <laughs> so made me a little taco bowl without the tacos. Um, I put all the fixings and made like a little. It's it's good. It got everything in there. Um, I did bring some soft shells, but I mainly wanted these for like my eggs in the morning. Here. They had so many tomatoes, so I said I can do like a little omelet on a couple days or whatever. Nobody cracked open the salsa, so I said I'll just take that too. <laughs> Child, so you know my favorite drink is tequila, and we had margaritas, so I just took that too. <laughs> had extra cheddar cheese, and you know with the eggs, the scramble, took that too. Said I needed something to wet my whistle. I'm not, you know, not consuming sugar. They had sparkling water. So I said, I'll just take two. Just two. <laughs> okay. And I ran low on some paper plates. And they had a few sitting around. So I said, I'll just take that two. <laughs> yes. Yes. So that's on period. That's how you save a couple dollars. Go to the family's crib. No, they ain't gonna judge. They do not care. Pretty much they're gonna throw it away anyway. So, yeah. Got me a little. Caught me! Caught me! Who wanna come over and bless them? <laughs> Let's get it. Let's make it clear. I have never took a bottle of liquor from nobody else. I did it to be funny at first. <laughs> then I realized that I really just take my grandmother's tequila. But they literally seen me putting everything in a the bag. They was like, I don't even care. So, <laughs> all right, y'all. So, baby girl went to the market. And if you don't get a shopping cart, even if you drive, even if you live on the first floor, fuck what you heard. Get a shopping cart. Why? I leave the shopping cart here, but I literally, when I get to the bottom of my steps, because I live on the second floor, I don't feel like going up and down the steps a million times. Now, I came up once with a couple bags, grabbed this shopping cart, and filled her up. Child, for years, I was not doing this. For years, I wasn't doing this. And then when I started doing it, I said, why have I... When I started doing it, I said, why have I been doing it wrong all these years? These bags are so heavy. <laughs> and I don't have no care in this face. Oh, Lord Jesus. So, I'm back on keto. I ain't gonna show y'all everything, but I'm back on keto. I got an important event coming up and I need to get my body in tip top shape because I want to stun on bitches. <laughs> I put everything in this bag. So we have to buy bags here in Philly. I talked about this before, it's annoying. So not bad because the bags are sturdy but I forget them sometimes I wind up buying more bags almost every time I go out damn I'm always not in the bag but, but um y'all know I lost what almost 40 pounds last time I was on keto I kept some off. I, I kept off more than 25 pounds. But baby girl need to kick back in. Last night was crazy. I had cake, tacos, all that crap. Oh no, oh no. So, this is not keto. But this is just a little something we can get a sweet tooth. But I ain't gonna show y'all everything, but I'm gonna show y'all some stuff. Oat milk. Um, they have cauliflower hash. If you ever, you like hash browns, you can use cauliflower hash browns. 
I did get me some fruit, although they are not keto, it's still a healthy choice for the days when I fall off the wagon. If I want to go crazy, I go crazy with fruit. So it's going to be keto slash just healthy shit. I got some mini waters for when I'm going, you know, somewhere and I just need to stick it in my purse. Boiled eggs. Why boil them when you can save some time? Avocado oil. I know I love avocado oil. Also got some of these, some sparkling ice um, beverages or whatever. I got a few of them in different flavors. Also this here, the Splenda creamer without any sugar. And it's only one carb. So when I say you will not miss out, you don't need to add no sugar. All you need is the Splenda creamer in your coffee or chai tea, whatever y'all do. I don't know, lattes. This is the syrup that I get, sugar-free, bomb, bomb. Only three carbs, you can't go wrong. Like I said, I got a few. I want to make sure I didn't get watermelon, but a few different flavors. Too good. Guacamole. Um, I stop really. Sometimes I get the guacamole that you can cut, but sometimes I get these because we, when I cut the guacamole, I don't always go back. I'm not really a guacamole lover. I'm a doc, guacamole guacamole tolerator. So this is just enough. And then if I want to pick it up next week, I still can, and it will still be nice and green because prepackaged, baby girl. So I got two. I'm sitting here watching this girl. She's been on since I left. So I, I done supported plenty of your videos. A plethora. You want to see? She's not crazy. <laughs> I know y'all like, why is she screaming like that? Um, actually, she's pretty cool as far as health factor. Like she made me, as she was talking about accountability, with your workout, she literally made me get up. I was about to just order a salad and not have anything later in case I get hungry or wind up eating something else unhealthy. I said, I'm just going to the market. Too good. More too good. I already showed you all the too good. Um, these are my favorite veggie burgers. So, wholesome pantry. They are mushroom and cheese. So good. So good. Toast them up real nice. Brown, well, brown them up real nice. I did splurge, so I got some Beyond Burgers, plant-based, also got the sausage. So if you don't know, I'm pescatarian. I don't eat any animal other than seafood. And I also try to eat healthy all, my, all, all the time. Um, Truvia, um, this is a sugar. I've been making a lot of green tea and I feel so bad when I put brown sugar in it. So I bought me some Truvia. Sweet, get right to the point, love it. love it. Also, I'm trying these for the first time, plant-based. Apple slices. So. More of those little plant-based nuggets. One of them is sweet barbecue. And the other one is spicy. I think I'm going to warm some of them up now because I got like a little mini salad. I got my Mio. I always talk about Mio. If you like Kool-Aid and you drink um, sugary drinks with your liquor, just get some Mio. All you need is water and Mio. Period. So, of course, I got waters. Big waters. Also, for work, I'm going to start taking some more, try my edges to show what I, little things annoy me, but other girls really wouldn't pay no mind, <laughs> but stuff like this, little containers for work, I got some wipes, put in my purse, yeah, I'm that girl that always 
rinsing off the cat every five minutes. I love her. I can't stand a wet cat. I can't stand a, a nasty, smelly cat. It gets on my nerves. So I got me some little wipes. Um, paper towel, toilet paper. Um, also, I bought these now. I used to get these when I started my weight loss about a year and a half ago. Um, and what it was, was I would make um, hot water and tea, well, hot tea, and I would put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it and I would drink it every morning. Can't say it really helped with weight loss, but overall, you know, just, you know, having your body in balance as far as pH and stuff like that, it was A1. But apple cider vinegar does curb your appetite, and I was drinking it every morning. So I wanted to get back into that. So I did get some of these cups. I got some detox tea. I want to get to that. You already know what this is. Some oil for my hair. Sweet almond oil. So these edges need attention. And I ran out of oil. I bought a lot of stuff. I said I was going to buy a little bit of stuff. I wanted to buy a lot. I, did. I went ham. But I'm not going to show you. I've got a lot of seafood. I'm not going to show you all the seafood. But cauliflower rice. For If you got a taste for something starchy, go for the cauliflower rice. I got a whole bunch of these salmon picks. Because when I'm hungry, and I'm hungry, hungry, I need something quick. And I don't want to resort to fatty stuff. This is the tea that I got. The detox tea. And this is new for me. I never tried this tea before. But I'm going to make some tonight. Because I'm pretty sure it may make me go to the bathroom. Which I need. I need to detox. So I'll let y'all know how this worked out. olives whenever you guys taste with something salty grab an olive they're really good mussels fresh salmon pigs shrimp already peeled wash dress yourself buying a bag where you got to peel it and cook it um oh yeah and some mini salads i got a couple of these and i'm going to eat one of these tonight 647 bread is the best bread. They got regular bread, rye, wheat. I get the English muffins because they just taste better to me. And low carb, low calorie. Rice cakes. And cilantro lime sauce. I use it as salad dressing. So. That's the gist of the stuff. It's a lot of shit that's out and it's giving me anxiety. So I'm pretty much, and I got some more apple cider vinegar. I'm about to put this stuff up and I hope this helped y'all if you're wondering, you know, how to lose weight, keto, pescatarian, vegetarian, what to get. You still have to have moderation. You can wind up eating all this shit and still being fed. But you have to have moderation. With moderation and eating stuff like this, I tell you, I can put all this food together and you won't get a cup of sugar out of it. I don't believe so. Yeah, you won't get a cup of sugar out of it. But yeah, let me put this stuff up and I'll pick you up later. So to finish off the night, I pretty much made a salad. And I enjoyed one of those sparkling ice drinks. They're only five calories and they're not bad in sugar or carbs. Um, and then I made myself some warm detox tea with the apple cider vinegar. And baby girl took a shower and just relaxed. <laughs> I did use um, my Olay body wash scrub the bottom of my feet baby so they can be nice and smooth use my signature v scrub if you haven't already do cop up it's good for the v <laughs> and all over the body as well it's a soft scrub it's amazing 
So I'll check back in with y'all later. Love y'all. Mm.